Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, now I apologise I haven't done any um, content or uh, streaming for the last few days. Uh, things have gone a little bit wrong, uh, to say the least, over this last week or so. Uh, I did actually start making a guide on Black Widow Clairvoyant, uh, which was uh, which I was actually buzzing for. Um, there was a friend of mine that asked me to do one, um, and because I, I, I use her all the time. Uh, she's probably one of my most favourite champions. Uh, utility based in the game at the moment um if there's a spot on uh free on my teams then uh generally she's going to be the one that fills it uh so yeah so i started making a guide and um and i turns out that my um video editing skills are not very good so uh so i didn't like what i did because i wanted to do a good job of it um but now it's sort of gone on a little bit too long i didn't like what i'd done and um so i've deleted them and uh and was going to start again but uh but then my heater broke um, out here, so it's uh, it's incredibly cold because it's minus three outside. Um, as you'd expect these things to go wrong when it is this cold, uh, so it's not very comfortable out here at the moment. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just try and get through it, um, and hopefully try and clear some some bits and pieces up, um, and try and sort of explain her to the point that's not that confusing because she's not she's not that confusing to play. Um, once you understand what her curses do and when to use her, um, everything sort of becomes much more clear. Because um, on paper, um, like I say, there's there's like page after page after page of it. So just going to break it down um, just to try and make it a bit easier for some people. Um, so we'll get straight into this because it is bloody cold out here and I want to go in. <laughs> so, uh, so right, we'll just start um, her awakened ability. She doesn't need it which makes her a great pull um, straight out of the gate. Um, all it is is a cheap death um, after you've used your special three, so it makes um, makes using it on purpose quite um, quite hard. So it's, it's, not, it's more of a safety net of if you make a mistake. Um, so the easiest way to probably explain that, if you have a special three and low health, you let it go. Um, you either get clipped or push them over a special three afterwards. Um, you will survive it um, and gain back the percentage from your uh, SIG level. Um, now, I know mine's a bit of a funny number at 68, and that's only because I've naturally duped her three times, um, and the extra eight were just expiring stones. Um, so, yeah, it was just to get rid of them. Um, so that's that's about it. There's no, there's no real gain um, by awakening her. Don't use a stone on her. Um, but... Now, if you've got one and you're um, uh, debating on taking her up, then she has so many uses in this game, um, in so many different scenarios, on so many different nodes, that there's just too many to list. Um, really, really good in war as well. Her survivability is, um, is pretty good. Um, suicide friendly as well. Um, so, yeah, she does tick a lot of boxes. Um, and like I say, I personally absolutely love playing with her. So... Um, right, moving on All right to the curses. And this is where most people get tripped up. Um, for whatever curse you are in, um, at any given time, is what you are immune to. So you would start a fight in Curse of Blood, and that's the same for every fight. You are instantly immune to bleed. Um, so nodes like Biohazard um, or any kind of bleed node or anything like that, brilliant for. Um, you start in bleed, you stay in bleed. Um, and that's pretty much about it for that. Using a special two while in Bleed Curse, you gain 35% of the damage dealt back uh, as health, which is what I was talking about with survivability. Um, really, really good on, on nodes and paths that uh, buff your damage. Um, and obviously when running suicides, you get that bit more damage, so you can constantly keep on cycling it. Um... To switch your curse, you will do a medium light, 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 light to be able to switch into the next curse in the in the list. Um, the next one in the list being poison immunity. Um, also carries with it on your special two a five percent power drain. Uh, now, me personally, I don't tick, uh, don't really use this one very much because I find that by letting the special two go, you get your power drain, but the last hit. Um, of that special two tends to give them back what you've just took. Um, doesn't always happen, um, 
But obviously, if they're at special three and you take power off them, uh, and then you give it straight back, it's kind of pointless. But in certain scenarios, obviously, there are going to be ways uh, uh, to, to um, set that up. Uh, but I'll explain that in a minute. Um, obviously, and then the next one is the Hellfire Curse, which just gives you an energy damage buff. Uh, I spend probably most of my time in this particular curse, just because it gives you more damage, even with Suicides on, because then you can just do a light ending combo again to switch it back to bleed before a special two to get the health back that you would have lost over the fight um, ready for the next one. Um, but most of most of her um, uh, abilities and curses and stuff like that are really just to control the fight. She's very, very much a control champion. She's not a heavy hitter. Um, don't get me wrong, she can hit quite hard uh, if you get like a good amount of crits and stuff like that. And she can hit quite hard. Uh, especially in the um, in the Hellfire Curse, um, but ultimately the way that you'd gear her up to to go into any particular fight, obviously buff heavy champions um, are if you're every special two that you use, no matter what curse it's in, um, will give uh, will strip all of their buffs away, um, give you that amount of charges on the left hand side, which I'll show you in a minute, um, and um, and then they cannot gain any more buffs for 10 seconds, which is really, really handy. Um, so, like, I mean, even, um, like, cheat death champions like Hela, um, if you've launched a special two beforehand, then generally, like, she will not go um, indestructible. Um, so it's all sorts of niches and bits and pieces like that that you can use with her, but ultimately the way that you set her up to play is to go against champions that are immune to any one of your particular curses. Um, so let's say for argument's sake, Thing, everyone's favourite champion to fight. Really, 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 really good for controlling that fight. Um, with her being, uh, with the first curse being bleed, he's immune to bleed. Um, every time you do bleed him, he will lose uh, rock stacks. So you can literally play that entire fight um, without him ever going um, unstoppable and unblockable. As long as you can stun him. Um, he's, he's um, the easiest way to explain that. If you can stun Thing, then she can pretty much dictate that entire fight. Um, so I'm not going to explain any more about that because um, I think, like I say, on paper, she's quite confusing to use. Now, I have gone in um, to this month's Cav difficulty just to set up a fight with Thing. Uh, it is on the diss track node, um, but I just wanted to show how long you could dictate this fight for. But just to start with, I'll do I'll do a bit of a fight um and pause it so i can explain to you exactly what's going on um so like i say with thing if you hit him with an, a, an immunity that he's immune to he will lose rock stacks and that's how you would dictate this fight obviously like i say i can't i can't kill him on this one because he's on distract and he's bleed immune so i can't do any damage to him um and obviously and then there's um there's another node on here that strips my um uh power so I'll just show you, for, just for a moment's sake, how long this can go on for. Um, I'm not going to worry about going into it too far because the principles are all the same. Um, right, so we're just going to go straight into this. I will, I will pause it just to, uh, just to explain what's going on. All right, so I'm going to start this fight as normal. I'm going to start in bleed, which is where I'm going to stay. I have got suicides on. All right, so... Parry and heavy. All right, I'll pause it there. All right, so I'm just going to move this over. So these stacks that are that way, there, they're the stacks that you need to keep your eye on. Um, just because if you get to 20 stacks, um, then you cannot gain any more power um, from an immunity that's gone on. So when, like with thing, parry and heavy, I would get three stacks from that. He would lose rock charges and I would gain a big wedge of power um, from that. Um, and like I say, Thing doesn't have any buffs, so I don't particularly need to worry about special two. Um, you could pretty much cheese mode this all the way through, like just special threes if you wanted to, um, and just parry heavy. Um, so like I say, Thing has got three rock stacks at the moment if you want to keep your eye on the right hand side of the screen 
um, he will never get anywhere near doing his um, 15 stacks to you have to bait a special or anything like that. You are literally just doing this to control the fight. Like I say, if this if, if it didn't have distract on here, um, then he would be dying. Um, so just to clarify, all the stacks that are up here, over there, you need to keep an eye on those. Once you get to, I'd say probably around 12, 15, um, then you want to be starting parrying heavy to get to your special three to get rid of them, give you a deft touch if you wanted it. But it's ultimately just to get rid of the stacks so you can then go back to gaining a load of power and launching specials as you go and just carry on with the same cycle. So, <clears throat> sorry, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go in and just parry and heavy my way up to special three. So if you watch the energy bar, so yeah, it's, it's, it's more than two thirds and he's still at one rock stack. So I got to 20, I let my special three go. I wipe out all them stacks, give me death touch. Um, and like I say, this would be doing more and more damage to him if, if it ended up being that way. So now I need to launch his special. So now I need to be careful. So my power's now been drained. Now I can start going back to the same thing. So like I say, and you can cycle this all the way through. And if this track wasn't on here, then um, then he'd be dead or dying by now. So back at 20 stacks and rinse and repeat. And like I say, and this is pretty much how you would control fights like this. Um, like I say, as long as you can stun him, he will never go unblockable or unstoppable. Um, and that's pretty much how this works all the time. So that's the only thing you need to keep an eye on. All right, so we'll have enough of that one. So hopefully you understand the principle of that. I'll switch that back in now. Um, all right, so we'll quit out of here. Um, other fights that he's good for, uh, she's good for, sorry. Um, and I'll just show you. Hopefully I won't mess it up. The other person that everybody loves fighting against being Korg. Now the thing is with Korg, obviously he can restore the parry. So you need to be watching whether he's going to do that or not if you're going to play it that way. But again, same principle applies. He's bleed immune, stay in the bleed curse. If I could parry it, it would help. Oh my gold. Oops. Alright, so now he's, he's shield shattered, he won't do it again. Right, so it doesn't matter because I can gain all the power, all the uh, health back that I've just lost. But same principle applies because she's because she does energy damage. You don't get any of the return damage back. So it's it makes Korg a very very easy fight. You can dictate the whole fight, and because you can fight it as normal um, instead of trying to intercept with the light. Um, She's obviously probably one of the better core counters uh, in the game because she's bleed because he's bleed immune. Once you break that, um, once you break that uh, rock shield, he won't restore the parry anymore. So again, another thing to look for. Um, uh, try and think of someone else. Uh, go for Hyperion. I wonder if there is a Hyperion. Yes, there is. All right, so Hyperion would be a different, different play style, and like I say, because I'm running suicide, so, and just by me staying in bleed, I haven't, um, I haven't once dropped any hardly any health at all. Um, all right, so Hyperion, different, different play style. Pardon me. Um, 
you'd be because he's poison immune. It's the first thing you're going to be switching for. So ending light combo. I'm now in poison. Parry heavy. Parry heavy. Special two. And that strips off his power gain, and he cannot gain it again. Oop. He cannot gain it again until that's gone. So it makes Hyperion a very easy fight. And it's the same for every every sort of champion that you have that's immune to something. Um, she's absolutely brilliant for. And as long as you keep your eye on them stacks that I showed you in the thing fight, um, as long as you don't get to 20, then you'll never really get unstuck. Um, so that's pretty much, that's, I'm going to, I'm going to say that's probably the easiest way to use her. Um, and like I say, any sort of buff heavy champions that aren't immune, um, you can run out of stacks. Um, but as long as you can get back to a special two and they have a lot of buffs, then you can get more back. Um, it's just not as easy to cycle specials like that, but that's, that's pretty much the gist of her. I say there's not, there's not anything too complex about it. Um, there's not anything that you need to be looking for other than them stacks if you're against an immunity champion. Um, but like I say, there's, there's no need to make her any more complicated than she is. Um, and in terms of uh, where she can be used, uh, the list is pretty much endless. Um, and like I say, on certain, especially on certain nodes, um, even like cab difficulty, there's like um, uh, mystic. Uh, nodes and stuff like that in there that she's brilliant for um some of the variants she's really good for um so yeah it's all just worth having a play around with her um and like i say for 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 the most part that's the way you gear her up is to go against an immunity champion um just because it, you can control the fight and you can stay all the you can pretty much stay at a full bar of health for the whole fight um pretty much no matter who the fight is um like I say, within reason. So, like I say, top champion. Absolutely love playing her. Like I say, she's always part of my teams. Um, I'm glad we kind of got through that sort of... I know I babble a bit, but uh, I'm glad we got through that in one take <laughs> before my fingers go blue. Um, so, yeah, so that'll do. Um, any any other questions or anything like that, give us a, uh, a, a comment and I'll, um, and I'll get back to you. But for now, that'll do me. I'm going in. I'm bloody cold. <laughs> Have a good night. See you later.